everybody welcome to see our interesting sheet in here in this tutorial we are going to learn to make a bottle with a subdivision surface modeling method which is applicable for the production work so before moving toward the tutorial if you didn't subscribe to the channel then please subscribe it and now let's get started so delete this cube and then add a cylinder and vertex should be 24 and change it to the triangle fan after that take this cylinder little bit up on the surface like this then extrude this and scale it down then one more time extrude it just try to create the shape of the bottle then one more time extrude it and scale it down then one more insert these faces and take it little bit up you just need to move them along the z axis and just try to create the bottom shape Select these faces and then insert them. Then extrude them and fix it at the right position and then one more time extrude it and then scale it down. And one more time insert these faces and then extrude it. Just we are trying to create that the nozzle part of the bottle. Just delete these faces. Just add a supporting loop cuts. Because we will add the subdivision surface modifier. So that's why. So you can see we have added the supportive edges which will maintain the shape of the bottom and now it's look pretty well. Just try to get the right shape for your bottom and that's look fine. Then add a few more loop cuts at the bottom side. You need to add few more loop cuts. And that's a good one. So now we will create the outer part of the bottle. So that's why I select these faces, shift D to duplicate, and press P for selection. And then you will get different objects. Then add 3 loop cuts and add bevel on these loop cuts and give the proper width amount of the bevel. Then you need to select the few faces. After selecting the faces, insert them and then 
you need to delete these faces like this so you will get something like this then add one, one loop cut here and then add one more loop cut at the bottom and now we will create the another shape so that's why just you need to select few edges and then add a bevel on these edges and then delete these faces same step so create a design So after selecting these edges, add a bevel on them and then delete these faces. Just increase the subdivision if it necessary. And now it's look good. Then add a loop cuts like this. Then select these faces. I to insert and then use the loop tool to make them circle then scale it down this circle little bit by the way it's on the octagon these are then select these faces and then one more time insert them and then delete them like this and now we can use the symmetrize option so we will get the same design to the on the another side so select everything and use the symmetrize and we have created easily a good design good outer part for the water Now just we need to add few loop cuts to tie these edges. So you can see I have added the solidify modifier on these faces. Then apply that solidify modifier with the proper thickness. So just adjust the thickness according to your portal size. and then apply that solidify modifier so now you need to add supportive edges supportive loop cuts so just add those loop cuts Then use the symmetrize option Now just add one, select your inner part and we will add little bit thickness on it so use the solidify modifier, solidify modifier should be top of your subdivision surface modifier, give the proper thickness for the solidify modifier and you can see then apply that solidify modifier. 
then select these faces and then just hide them because we need to edit the inner part of this bottle so that's why and we can see easily the inner surface now you need to dissolve few edges here we don't need a more complicated shape in the inner part so that's why you can dissolve these edges And that's fine. Then select these faces and move them little bit up along the z-axis. You can see. Ah, uh, that's look good. Then add the locus here. Double tap G to edge slide and now our bottle looks pretty well decent. So now we will create the cap of the bottle. So just add a cylinder and vertex should be 24. Then just easily and in the simple way we can create the cap, just adjust its size according to the nozzle of the bottle then select these edges and then use the chicker to select scale these edges along the x and y axis so that's why you need to press the shift z to avoid the scaling along the z axis then select these edges Just select the alternate edges and then add bevel on these edges. Then select these faces and insert them. Then add supporting loop cuts. Then one more time insert and use the loop tool to make the circle. Then extrude it and then scale it down like this. Then select this face. Then insert it. and then same step use the loop tool and make it circle and adjust its scale then extrude it and you can see easily we created the bottle shape just we need to add a little bit of design on it adjust its scale according to your bottle nozzle so 
then add a subdivision surface modifier and increase its level Now our cap look pretty well. Just add a bevel modifier. Let's see. And that's look pretty well. I guess. It's total depend on you. If you want to keep the bevel modifier then you can. Otherwise you can remove it. Now bottle is almost ready. Just we will add little bit of design on this nozzle part. So that's why I use the knife tool and create a slant skirt like this. Select, then press Z, then select and then enter this is uh, these are the steps for the knife tool then select these edges then add a bevel on these edges you just need to add a simple bevel like this then select these faces and then extrude them and simply we have created this design same kind of design we will create on the cap but from the inner side of the cap so that's why you need to hide a few faces means outside faces outer faces of the cap so you can see we will create same design here so i tried with the rotation tool to create same kind of effect but it won't work And if you try with the X-ray mode to create the slant cut, then also it will be difficult. So that's why just you need to hide these faces. And now you can create the same kind of slant cut with the knife tool. You can add a bevel. And then just extrude this faces and now it's look pretty well so you can see we have successfully created this bottle and it's look decent with the simple methods we have created this bottle thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel you can buy my 3D models on CG Trader and Camrode. So, bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.